Okay, the last thing we're going to talk about, I'm sorry, not the last thing, but one of the last things we're going to talk about is uh, the little bit of controversy that goes around with aquatic turtles. Um, now, of course, there's a federal law against the sale of any turtle under four inches, um, and that's uh, that came around in the 70s. And basically what that, the reason that exists is um, is due to uh, a fear of salmonella. Um, they, they were finding in the 70s with the purchase of very small turtles, baby turtles about quarter size, and so uh, basically there was a salmonella scare. Um, salmonella, of course, is a bacteria that can cause illness in people, um, though generally it preys on, on sm uh, people with compromised immune systems, be them small children or very old, uh, old individuals. Um, t all turtles have salmonella, period. Okay? In fact, truth be told, most things in the world have salmonella. Go outside, run your hand through the dirt, and you have salmonella on your hand now. Um, now, there are various types of salmonella, um, and uh, to be fair, the majority of the quote-unquote scare of salmonella with turtles is, uh, is uh, a moot point. Uh, wash your hands before and after handling them, uh, and you should never have a problem. I've handled turtles all my life, and in fact, uh, as a child, handling turtles... Uh, being a child, failed to wash my hands on multiple occasions, if not more often than not. And I've never gotten salmonella. I've never known anybody who's gotten salmonella. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be careful. You should always be careful. Wash your hands before and after, especially if you have young children in the house. Um, but I wouldn't be overly concerned with it. You probably have a better, not probably, you do have a better chance of catching salmonella from your mother's cooking than you do from handling this turtle. No offense to your mother.